Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I have the Too Faced Holiday Collection for you and I have so many products. I did not purchase everything, but I still spent way too much money on this. And just like overall, I have a lot of positives, a lot of negatives, and I'm gonna go over it all with you. So I'm not gonna do a long intro because this is going to be a long enough video. I also asked you guys in a poll here on YouTube on my community tab, which I will be doing more of those. If you guys wanted to see like a breakdown of everything all in one video, or if you wanted to see more dedicated videos on maybe two or three items at a time, you guys said one big video was what you wanted. So I have been filming this for a couple weeks now and I'm really behind. Like I intended to do this video much sooner. Without me chatting on for another 20 minutes, let's go ahead and jump in. And I have little like flags on everything with the prices because there was no way in hell I was gonna remember. So the Too Faced Gingerbread Bronze and Kiss set goes for $39. This one is really cute, I do have to say. It's one of the items I was more enticed by. Now these I have not tried, so I wanted to save just a few products to try on camera with you guys and kind of give you a first impression. But this set is really adorable and it pairs perfectly with the Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette. Or if perhaps you got the Gingerbread Spice from last year, which I do have, so it comes in this glittery gingerbread bag, which is super, super cute. And the bag is pretty spacious. I actually think this might be a good fit for brushes. Like for instance, it fits right down in there with plenty of space. So bag is really cute, enough about that. So you do have two full-size products in this set. You have Gingerbread Tan, which is a spicy bronzer. And then you do get the Gingerbread Peach Kiss Lipstick. So here they are up close. The packaging is definitely 10 out of 10 for me. I really enjoy that. The bronzer itself has a cute little gingerbread on it very adorable and then the lipstick is actually what I'm gonna put on first so this is gingerbread man this is the color I've worn in the past I have had gingerbread man and gingerbread girl lipsticks those I honestly don't know where they are right now but they have re-released those I believe they're $21 a piece so if you miss out on them last year you can get them this year so let's put this guy on all right, so here is Gingerbread On. Again, this is the Peach Kiss formula. So if you've used that before, it's a very comfortable matte. The color I think is very pretty and I do think this color flatters a lot of different skin tones. I know I gifted this to someone with more like a really rich caramel complexion and it's so gorgeous on her, but I also like it on me. I don't mind it. It's more of like a rusty red orange. It's a nice transition from like that summer orange red. I know I've been loving it this summer. A lot of people on Instagram have been wearing it. So it's kind of a nice transition into a more like warmer fall version of that shade. So again, the set is 39 considering you're getting a full-size lipstick, full-size bronzer, and the bag. I already feel like this is a pretty good deal, but let's try out the bronzer. Obviously, I'm looking a little pale, so I'm just going to go in with a big fluffy. This is Real Techniques. I have just bedazzled the heck out of this brush. Oh, so it looks like the little like white on the gingerbread is just strictly like a little overlay. Obviously that's not going to be something you really want in a bronzer anyway, so I'm not mad at that. Just makes it cute, but literally it's pretty much gone. Hope this isn't too dark for me. I really don't know. Ooh, that's actually a nice amount of warmth. I was afraid that since I'm more on the fair side that this might not flatter my complexion, but I actually think it's very pretty. It's blending quite effortlessly and I already look a little less crazy. This is quite beautiful. Hopefully you guys can see, but it's very diffuse. It is not piling on too much pigmentation. It's just the right amount. Obviously I want some pigment, but I don't want it so pigmented that I literally can't blend it out or it's just too much. I don't think that someone with a really deep complexion will get a lot of use out of this. So that is the downside to this product in my opinion. So as far as that set goes, I'm pretty happy with it. You get two full size items and a really cute bag. Again, $39 for that. So I don't think that's a bad price point. I love that this is kind of on theme with the extra spicy palette and the other lipstick that they have. If you just want to go for a lipstick, personally, I really like the liquid lipstick formula of Gingerbread Man and Gingerbread Girl. I think they're really beautiful colors and they apply so beautifully. And I think Too Faced, one of the things that people don't talk about that much that they're really good at is their matte liquid lipstick. I think the formula is really great. It doesn't get too dry for me. I feel like their liquid lipsticks are one of the few things that they like knock out of the park every time. All right, on to the gingerbread extra spicy palette. 
take my note off. This goes for $49. It is a little bit pricey. Gingerbread Spice and Gingerbread Extra Spicy. I have both of those. I do have a couple of clips where I am really going shade by shade and comparing, showing you similar shades in both palettes. A lot of people were asking, is it worth having both? I think for me, it just really depends on, do you love this palette? If Gingerbread Spice, the original one, was something that you really loved, I think you're going to like the new one. And there are, to me, enough differences to warrant it being in your collection if you really, really love these tones. If you're someone who doesn't go for a lot of like warm tones, this may not be for you. So I'm gonna insert the clips now of the comparison side-by-side -side swatches. So I've got on the right-hand side, Gingerbread Spice, and the left-hand, Extra Spicy. So I swatched the right-hand side, just the original Gingerbread first, to kind of lay down the first half of the colors and see what was similar. As you can see, there are a lot of similarities, but what I'm seeing overall is that the Extra Spicy looks a little bit richer. A lot of them there aren't really major dupes for. Obviously on the top row you can see that on the right hand side powdered sugar from the original versus vanilla wafers on the left. They are pretty similar. One's a little bit warmer, one's a bit cooler. Down at the bottom especially you've got on the left extra spicy and on the right hot toddy. They are definitely different but they have similar you know like orangey red kind of tones. I actually love them both. If I were picking based off of these shades I actually think the extra spicy is really nice. So you know if it's one you're looking for and you're like oh I didn't get the original one I think this is a great one to get on the right hand side you have the last several colors in the original gingerbread spice palette so there aren't a lot of dupes for a lot of these you can see those dark chocolate browns and those tans are kind of similar with the chocolate browns they are probably the most similar colors in the palette in the original that is reindeer paws and in extra spicy it is called cookie call so very very similar but a few of these in the original gingerbread spice so like this like olive -y green. That one is called Spice of Life. This nice, oh my god, like duochrome red shimmer metallic. It's called Hot Toddy. There's really nothing quite like that in the extra spicy. So I feel like in the original one, you really got into the more deep, rich colors when you got to the second half of the palette. I do want to mention that Spicy Miami from the extra spicy is very gritty. It looks like it would be gorgeous, but it's not doing much for me. That is the one that's close to that red metallic. So it's to the left of that and it looks, you know, kind of like this burnt orange but it's really gritty and it doesn't have that much shine to it whereas some of the others you can see huh, a little bit different and then here are just a few shades that you weren't able to see in the extra spicy from top to bottom midnight snack cinnamon butterscotch and in a pinch and i think these are actually beautiful colors that second swatch there got a little messy my arm was just a bit damp from the makeup wipe but i think these are gorgeous and there's not any super super similar colors to this from the original yeah there you have it but i do like this palette it is what i have on of course i'm gonna insert clips of me using this i went for like a really simple halo eye today i started with a plenty of dough and then i moved into a cinnamon or cinnamon excuse me um i used some cookie call to put in the inner and outer corners that was the darkest shade it wasn't quite as rich as i maybe wanted it to be it was okay then i also went into the center of my eyelid with for the gram and then topped that with candy queen so i went with several colors in this one i think it came out with a really like warm kind of sultry look i wasn't very impressed with midnight snack that's the blue on the bottom and i tried to kind of like smoke out my lower lash line with it it didn't really give a lot of impact but if you want just a subtle hint of blue and with all these warm tones it would make sense and then i went in with the lower lash line with butterscotch so butterscotch i used essentially just kind of like smoke out the lower lash line and give a bit more warmth back to the look so overall i think this is a pretty palette i'm not blown away with it but i do feel like if you've never got gingerbread spice and you want a warm tone palette you could definitely do this one and I do feel like it's more on par with the previous gingerbread spice with their peach palette I feel like Too Faced has a range of eyeshadow quality that goes from really good to really not good and I feel like this is on the really good end of the spectrum if you want a warm palette so $49 for that I'm not crazy crazy about the look that I created the eyeshadows performed well not amazing but they performed well next the Too Faced hot buttered rum now this guy is a little $25 palette here are the shades in that I feel like 25 is maybe just a little high for this considering you could go for the extra spicy and really get your bang for your buck 
versus getting, you know, eight shades in this little guy. Now, if you really want to get someone a palette, but you're on a budget and you're like, okay, 25 is my cap, the Hot Butter Brum is really cute. I actually think that it performed pretty nicely. I do feel like you get everything you need to create a really pretty warm fall eye. I also really enjoy that there are more mattes than shimmers in this palette. I have said it time and time again, but for me, what blows me away are mattes. If a matte is rich, blendable, it's pigmented, and I don't know if you can blow it out and just make it look so pretty. I feel like it's better than having, you know, a bunch of good shimmers because, you know, you can make a shimmer look pretty. You can make a metallic look pretty. You can wet your brush. You can go in with a glitter glue and make it more impactful. But if a matte doesn't work, it doesn't work. So for me, I am more tempted by mattes. I want good mattes. So these are a few of the shades in there. Obviously, you see a couple pretty metallics, two mattes. These are very gorgeous. I love those. And then this one is a matte, but it has like that fine little micro shimmer in it. I love shades like this. They have like this special little sparkle to them. And as you can see, I really enjoy creating a look with this palette. It's pretty simple. 25 is probably a little bit high for this. I feel like even just a $5 difference, if it was priced at 20, I'd be like, oh yeah, 20 bucks, no big deal. Um, but 25, you know, I think of this as more of like a stocking stuffer size present, or, you know, maybe a secret Santa with a bunch of ladies and your $25 is your cap. I feel like that would be really nice. So I do enjoy this palette I do feel like 25 is just a little high when you know you again you can go pick up that ColourPop palette for $12, $14 and you get more shades with that so that's maybe the only downside is the price point I feel like the quality of this hot buttered room palette is very good I feel like it's like original peach palette quality when it came out and there was all the hype over it I feel like it kind of is on par with that so if you do have a Too Faced lover in your life that would probably like this palette then pick it up. All right, so I want to talk about one of their big guy sets. They always have like those big like blockbuster makeup sets for holiday and usually those are some of the things that entice me the most. This time I can't say that that's true. So I ordered this. This was one of the first holiday items that I got. This is the Christmas cookie house party. So I'll be honest, when I got this I was like, why did I why did I order this? I don't really like the theming. So I feel like so far everything that we've seen is very on theme. Hot buttered rum and spicy gingerbread and the gingerbread lips and the bronzer. It's all very like, ooh, this is like cozy, warm fall and Christmas and I like it. And then they did this and I just don't I don't really understand it. But let's open it. So first off, you get a small shadow insurance and a small melted gingerbread man. So the same color that I'm wearing, but in a liquid formula. Again, love these and this is a really generous like deluxe size. I'm just gonna say what I need to say. I don't like the packaging of this. I feel like it looks cheap. It looks a little gaudy. And I don't know, I just, I feel like they did two really opposing themes. And usually their Christmas collection has like that really like holiday vibe to the point where I'm like, oh, I don't want to miss out because it goes with this set and I want to get everything. Whereas this year I'm like, hmm? You can also get it at Ulta. There is one that matches this if you have like an ultimate Too Faced lover who wants it all. The Ulta one kind of opens out like a big star. It looks, again, cheap childish. I'm not into it. That's just the honest opinion I have to give. It does have a mini better than sex mascara. That will probably find its way into a giveaway along with probably four other mini better than sex, but that's neither here nor there. You have basically like a little gingerbread house, but it comes apart. Also kind of don't love that. These are magnetic. So as you can see, like I'm just, whoop, it will kind of hold it. Let's just talk about it from top to bottom, if you will. First, the roof of the house has a bronzer, blush, and a highlighter in it. I actually think these are really pretty. I swatched these in the clip where I am applying things. I'll insert that. So we're going to put a little bit of this on since I'm not wearing any highlight right now. It's a really pretty gold. It's slightly dark. Really, bro? It's a little bit dark of a color for my skin tone, but I feel like it's right in that like medium to tan kind of wheelhouse. It's kind of perfect. I even think possibly on deeper skin tones, but I really feel like it's more in that tan medium kind of realm. So that's the color. The blush and the bronzer is actually really pretty in this too. So the quality of this, I don't have a problem with. The shades in this are actually really pretty. And the big 
part of the house is a beautiful palette. I was actually kind of blown away with the quality of this. After feeling pretty underwhelmed with the look of it, the style of it, I was just like, oh, I don't know about this. But then I created probably one of my favorite looks out of all the looks that I created, which you will see. I did my eyes a bunch of times. And this is a gorgeous palette. Like I can't deny it. Really pretty. I do think that this is kind of like typical Too Faced holiday collection. You have a lot of neutrals. You have some really pretty colors, don't get me wrong, but they tend to do a very similar thing in their holiday collection. So you have a lot of neutrals, you have some pinks, some plums, a little pop of purple, you have a little pop of a metallic blue, you've got a black. And while this is really gorgeous, if you have previous holiday collections, you probably have something really similar to this, but I do think that the quality of this one is superior to the last like three years of Too Faced holiday collections. So it's just kind of like, do you want to spend this much on it? It's $58. I do think that's a little high. And then the last thing that you get is a little four pan palette. I just think it's so weird that they keep putting Jared on things like, I don't like but that's just me. So in this, you get four really beautiful, chunky glitters. They're kind of like the glitter when you swatch it. There's like a color base, which you'll be able to see specifically on these two fingers. There's a color that gets behind it, and then you have the glitter, if that makes sense. So it's really pretty. These are freaking gorgeous. For a holiday look, I think they're so stunning. You do need some glitter glue for sure. I feel like that's maybe the one thing that they could have put in here as well as a little glitter glue. They did put the shadow insurance but you really want something super tacky to hold that glitter in place so that it doesn't, you know, crumble all over your face later on, which sometimes they do. The look that I created with this, I actually wound up loving, and I think the quality of everything in here is really great, but when it comes down to it, I don't see myself reaching for this a lot because it's, you know, three pieces and every time I look at it, I'm just gonna be like, oh, it looks like junk, I don't know. I also feel like 58 is a little bit high for like the packaging and presentation. The quality of the shadows, I can justify spending $58 on personally because I love good quality shadows and not to mention that you get bronzer, blush, highlight, eyeshadows, glitters, you get a lip, you get a shadow insurance. So you get a lot in this set. Don't don't get me wrong, but I don't know. It's just not as visually appealing as their previous holiday collections when it comes to the packaging. That's my thoughts on that. I know that's kind of like back and forth. I love it. I hate it kind of thing, but that's kind of how I feel about it. I feel like that was really not helpful. I want to jump back to something that I haven't tried yet. So this was also $25. This is the Better Not Pout, but if you do, keep it glossy. Now this was one of the items that I thought was really cute. And with this, you get four glosses. As you can see, they're super adorable. Peppermint Bark, Eggnog, Spice Cake, and Sugar Plum. So I'm going to dab a little bit of Eggnog right in the center there. Oh, that's really pretty. Yes, that's Sniffles. So this actually has like a multi-dimensional little glitter to it where I see actually like a rainbow of colors. Of course, it will not do it justice on camera, but it's a really pretty kind of like champagne color. But then the shimmer in it is kind of like multicolored. It's really pretty and it catches the light really nicely. And then in the peppermint mocha, it's more of a white clear. So I'll also go ahead and swatch them. What the So you have peppermint bark, eggnog, spice cake, and sugar plum. They all have a very different color and they all have their own scent. These are like very holiday oriented. So I feel like this set would be a great idea either for someone who doesn't wear a lot of makeup and maybe they like a little bit of lip gloss, um, maybe someone a little bit younger who wants to experiment with some makeup. But all of these are really pretty. They are a little bit more of that chunky glitter. So it's not to me the most pleasant feeling. If you're someone who likes to rub your lips, press them together, which I have a tendency to do, you can definitely feel the grittiness of the gloss. It's not my favorite way for a gloss to be, but I could get past it. Such a cute little set, but you could definitely pick this up. You could split it up into different stockings. That would be a good idea. You're only spending about six bucks 
per gloss so it's not super expensive this set to me i think again the same with the hot butter drum i think it would be a little bit more appealing at maybe a 20 dollars price point 18 to 20 dollars i think would be really reasonable i do think it is a really cute holiday gift so let's move on to the next item all right and sticking with that theme we have another set this is called let it snow girl and this set is 49 dollars so it's a little bit less than the 58 of the last set so with this one again you do get like the three palette themed thing you get a miniature better than sex that has like a little twisted design on it really cute little stocking stuffer so these again have a little bit of magnetization just not enough to keep it like together all in one piece so it's kind of like the a little annoying thing to me you could definitely stack this up when you're storing it or you know if you have palette organizers you could do it that way i will say i personally think this one is a little bit cuter i just I don't know I just feel like they could have done something a little bit different that's not annoying like I'm literally dropping this thing everywhere I do like the little like snow girl kind of thing I think it's cute and each part has a different little piece to it so in the first part you have a bronzer and highlight kind of a similar highlight to the previous one where it's more of like a light golden color this highlight to me is not as pretty as the other one but it's still pretty good and then you do get the chocolate soleil the second piece actually is really gorgeous so there are four blushes in here and I actually liked all four of these I think they're really nice colors if you like more of you know a light peachy pink kind of look and then the palette itself I actually think has some beautiful colors in it but again it's very on theme with the past holiday collections from Too Faced where you have a lot of neutrals a pop of green a pop of purple a pop of blue not that it's so neutral that it's not fun, but it's definitely been done before. The only thing that really stands out to be different is this glitter, which is kind of like the glitters in the other little palette. That one's really pretty. New Year's Eve is like calling my name with this one. I think it is a perfect match for that type of a look. It's very fun, very festive, and you can definitely just use a little bit to like pump up another look. And a lot of these are really pretty. I'll swatch a couple that I did not previously use. It's definitely got some good wearable colors in it. So even though I think this one is a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, I do have to say that I think it's kind of cheaply made. It's very like papery. There's not a lot to it. You do get a lot of colors, but you know, for the $50 that you're spending, you get a highlight, a bronzer, four blushes, and you get these shadows, even though they're a little bit small, and the mini mascara. I'm kind of on the fence about this one as well. I don't like this little like, piecey thing i would rather that they come out with one beautiful palette even if it was in the shape of a snow girl maybe you know just all in one i think would be a lot prettier and they do have a lot of space that is not utilized like you could definitely have condensed these or spread them out a little bit and put some blush in the center bronzer and highlight in the center something like that I just feel like they could have done a better job with that overall. And so $49 again, I think is a little steep. And once again, if you have previous Too Faced holiday collections, I don't really think you're missing out on this in particular, even though I was able to create a look that I really loved. So the question really is like, is it worth it to you personally to get this for $49 or to give it as a gift? I do think it's a really cute gift idea, especially if it's someone again, who is a little bit younger, who likes the cute holiday stuff. I wouldn't say, oh my God, you have to run out and get this. I just wouldn't say that about this. Okay, we're getting close to the end. We're almost there. So one thing that was a little bit more obscure, but I've seen this last year as well as this year, is something from the Home Shopping Network. So I happened to see this and I immediately had to pick it up. If I were to say this holiday season to pick up one item, oddly enough, it would actually be this, especially if you were giving this as a gift because you get four full size items. So first off, it comes with a little Too Faced pink eyeshadow brush. I don't know what I did with it, but you will see me using it in a little clip. This is the palette. I think it's really adorable. It's got pumpkin spice. It's like a little cup of pumpkin spice latte or coffee. And I do think that is really adorable. So again, packaging is super, super cute. It even stays in theme on the back. Double shot of glam, extra spice, sprinkle of sparkle, and creamy formula. Contents will make you hot. 
caution. So I think it's really cute. I like that this is more of a standard size palette. I also think even though a little bit of space was wasted on the inside, I think the layout is very aesthetically pleasing with the gold. It is just again like once a papery feel to it, but you get a large nice size mirror. I also like that the mirror has a little pumpkin on it. I think that's a really cute touch. And with this one, it's definitely like a warm, spicy eyeshadow palette. But honestly, for $49, I would pick up this set instead of the Gingerbread Extra Spicy if I was only getting one thing. So with this, I was able to create a beautiful look. I really enjoyed using this palette. Eyeshadow brush included. And then you get two other full-size items. So you get a full-size Better Than Sex Mascara. And then you also get a full-size Pumpkin Spice Lip Gloss. I think that is a fantastic deal. The mascara alone is what, like $24? So expensive. I just love the look of it too. The coffee, the pumpkins is pink, but it's fall. It's just really cute. So the Pumpkin Spice Gloss is also really pretty. I believe this was also in the set from last year, but I don't know what I did with that gloss. I did use it quite a bit, but I... I feel like it's just floating around somewhere. I just don't know. But with this one, again, it's a beautiful, beautiful gloss. So here it is. And I actually think that this gloss is a little less chunky of a glitter. It also smells very much like pumpkin spice. It smells so good. So just the fact, like, you're getting those two items, which would already run you nearly $50 just on their own. So a quick moment talking about the palette itself. It has a lot of beautiful colors. The mattes in this performed really well. I feel like, again, their holiday stuff is not always stellar. Sometimes I feel like it lacks like the time and care that really needs to go into it to create like stellar eyeshadows, whereas they're going more for like aesthetic stuff. I just feel like there could have been a little bit more attention paid to it. So personally, I think that they really did a good job with this. Let's also quickly hit on these metallics here so gorgeous so not like the in your face glitters but this is probably a little bit more wearable in the minds of more people so not everyone's going to pick up one of those really chunky glitters not everybody loves that i also really love the fact that you get a lot more mattes in this one than you do shimmers or metallics personally again i think they are the foundation of a good eye look so if the mattes aren't working none of it's going to work in my opinion 49 dollars for this but again, four full-size items. I think it's a great gift. And if I were purchasing for someone in my life who likes makeup and maybe would be open to a warm kind of neutral palette, this would be my choice over everything else because I think it's a really good bang for your buck. We are almost done. We're so close. So we have the Too Faced Gingerbread Lane set. Now this one is kind of like their 2D fruity line. So you can only get this one at Ulta. Most everything else you could pick up at most retailers that carry Too Faced, whereas this is an exclusive. So in this one you get three small palettes. I also think this one is a great gifting idea because they do have a little to and from on the back. You can certainly gift this entire set. It retails for $35. I don't think that's bad for what we're getting here. So I'll show you each one. And they do smell like that. So we have the berry pie, we have sugar cookie, and then we have banana bread. They all smell really good as well. You don't get a mirror in here. I'm not bothered by that at all. It's very cute. You got little stars. You got the little berries there. But in this one, you get four shadows and a blush. But the sizes of this are very generous. And just like a quick example, the colors are pretty good. They're not like the most, most stellar quality, but I was really enjoying the looks that I created. And then of course, you also get the blush. This one is called Snow Place Like Home. So for $35, you're paying about $12 for each one of these palettes. And I think that's not bad at all. Just as a comparison price-wise, $25 for the hot buttered rum. You do get eight shadows in there or just about 12 for four shadows and a really generous blush. The banana bread has more of your traditional neutral tones and a more like neutral pink blush, which I actually think is quite quite gorgeous. It is whole latte love. And this kind of blush is really flattering on a lot of skin tones. Not everyone wants like a hot pink in your face type of blush. So for me, this is very useful. I just love a good like, it's a little pink like a flush in your cheek, but it's not bam like berry pink. So I like that. And then finally, sugar plum cookie has some purples in it. It's really pretty. A lot of women love purple tones. So I feel like even though that's a little bit different looking, 
you probably still have someone in your life who loves wearing purple even though it's not personally one of my favorite colors it's very flattering on me so I do still enjoy wearing it and then again you get another blush so in each one of these four shadows and a blush I feel like it would be a great idea if you had three girls in your life who love makeup and you want to get something cute and small for you can spend 35 on this set 25 on the lip set you've only spent $60 and then you could actually pair each one so if it were me and I was pairing this up for someone sugar plum and sugar plum is a no-brainer I think I put the peppermint mocha with the berry just something about that sounds really good that would be such a cute little gift but I think banana bread and eggnog would be a really cute idea you would spend $20 and then get a little palette and a little gloss and it would seem you know a little bit more personal and then bonus you get a little gloss for yourself so I think that's a really good idea all right so that is pretty much it I know this has been a really long video so I don't want to spend a lot of time wrapping up I will try to link everything down below most of these things though you can get at Sephora or Ulta of course on Too Faced website and there are some other things that I just chose not to get there was a gingerbread body glitter I just didn't feel like I would use that and personally I don't think it's a really good like gifting item unless it's someone very close to you because somebody may be like why are you giving me glitter I don't want glitter on my body it's just one of those things. I think it was lickable too. Am I wrong about that? I don't know. If I was recommending one thing, I think I would recommend the Pumpkin Spice set from Home Shopping Network with the addendum that yes, it is not anything extraordinarily different with the colors or the textures or anything like that. I do think it's a good deal, but it is more just neutral warm eyeshadow you get mascara and gloss and a brush and i think it's a great gift presentation and again the christmas cookie house party i do want to say though this is really good quality just because i don't necessarily like the look of it it doesn't mean that it's not necessarily good this one just didn't do it for me like i pulled it out of the packaging and was like what is this? But as far as the way that the eyeshadows performed, I think this was one of my favorite looks that I came up with. I did enjoy almost every look that I made with all these products. But being 100% honest, I didn't think that most of this was incredibly stellar or really blew me away. I think it was just like, you know, normal Too Faced stuff. They don't do anything that innovative in my opinion. They came out with a gingerbread extra spicy palette that was the big holiday item. And it was basically just like a vision of last year. None of this is groundbreaking or incredibly impressive but they are really cute items. I don't think that there's anything in this Too Faced holiday collection that I'm like oh my god you must get this item and it is amazing. Only if it really appeals to you would I go out and spend the money. You know what if you're on a budget there are other things you can do that I'm sure they're going to love just as much and that is about it. I'm sure again I was not the most clear in a lot of my opinions on this but it was just kind of like you know, eh, it was in the middle. It wasn't anything that amazing or that bad. That's just how it went. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Of course, if you did like, leave me a big thumbs up. That always just lets me know that you like the content that I'm making. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye. But I'm going to swatch them, say, I'm going to swatch them, I'm going to swatch the component of this. It is, oh my God. I don't know where my palette is.